Hey, Damien Flynn here sharing a short video with you to help you get more interest from your leads. Now, just as I was getting ready to go to bed, I thought about this and figured it would be a great video to start using YouTube. So here I am at 4 o'clock in the morning. So this is not going to be long for both of our sake. In, in sales of any sort, leads with phone numbers are the very best leads. It means they're serious, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they want you to call. Look. I don't like talking on the phone. In fact, I don't like doing anything on a phone. I talk too much. I'm a slow texter. The only thing I like about my phone are the book apps because I love reading. But it is part of business. Now, about a year ago, I watched a video that uh, Eric Worre did, and he, he was going through and talking about using texting instead of calling your prospects or you know your your sphere of influence. Now you know Eric is a big MLM guy and uh and he does a lot of great things in the field. So of of course you know I, I wanted to take a test on this. You know me, me being a type of person that just loves testing everything. I, I had to try it. So what I did is I used a base group of 50 leads. I called them, then I called them again and again. I used another group of 50 leads and I texted them. And, and here's my results. So the first time I called, I got 12 out of 50 people on the phone. I waited two days and called the remaining 38 again. I got seven on the phone. I waited another two days and called again. I got six more on the phone. Out of three different attempts, I was able to get a total of 25 people on the phone. That's half, a good result by most measures, but these are people who asked for me to contact them and only half answered the phone and not one returned a voicemail. Now on to texting. The first thing I did was to verify all the phone numbers were actually mobile numbers. I'll show you how to do that in a few minutes. Out of 50 verified mobile numbers, 28 responded to my first text and set up a follow-up phone call. Four responded to my second text and set up a phone call, and eight responded to my third text and set up a phone call. That is a total of 40 out of 50, a whopping 80%. So, so let me ask you, do you prefer 50% or do you prefer 80? I mean, what would you do with the extra 15 people? You know, make the numbers bigger. What would you do with, you know, an extra 150? Do you think it's easier to get people in your sales team or in your network marketing organization to send a text message or make a phone call? This works in almost any business. The trick is being able to, to differentiate a mobile from a landline. So let's go ahead and pop over to that, and I'm going to show you how to do this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go to a website. It's phonevalidator.com. I'm going to link the website in the description below the video. So if you're viewing this on, on YouTube, all you have to do is click the link. So as a disclaimer, nothing is perfect. What I can say is that every number I have put into this tool and known what it was has come out right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop in a number that I know to be a landline and hit search. Pretty easy. Comes up almost instantly and right here where it says phone type is landline. Now it's got some other information like you know who the phone company is and that's not always going to be accurate but it's really not important. So let's go back and pop in a different number that I know to be a cell number. The same thing. It pops up, shows cell phone, and it shows the company. Again, not always accurate but you know usually pretty close. So once you verify whether it's a mobile or landline all you have to do is simply make a note of it, you know, put it in a spreadsheet, whatever, and then call or text. I don't recommend doing this one at a time and then texting them. It's always easier if you go through a list of numbers, do them all at once, put them in a spreadsheet, and then call them or, or text them. Um, inevitably, I know someone's going to ask me, well, what should I text to the people? Well, you know, I guess that kind of depends on your business, but for me, one of the easiest things is just throwing off a, hey, you know, this, is this Joe or whatever their name is? Hey, this is Damien. You asked me to call. I have just a few minutes right now. Is now good or would tomorrow work better? And then wait for a response. Now, if they say now, call them. If no response or if it's an unfavorable response, simply respond accordingly. Most people are not going to get into a lengthy discussion over text, so the response will generally be brief or not at all. If they ask what it's about, my response is typically something like, you know, hey, I'm not a great texter. The call will take about five minutes. Is now good? Surely you can work out your own magic from there. My goal was simply to share some, some basic insight on this 
and, and share with you my results. Now, I hope this video has helped you. Um, be sure to check out the links under the video for Phone Validator. I am also linking a great video by Eric Worre on the subject, the one I told you about earlier. And of course, there's also going to be a link to my website where it gets some additional insight and um, some other great tips for your business. All you have to do is just pop in your name and your email in the boxes here, hit the Be Cool button, and you'll get my uh, regular updates. Talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.